Angelo, guitarist, guitarist and vocalist for Sadism. Rishi Old Metal, guitarist. Rishi Snaddles, drums. All right, and we're here at the complex in Glendale. Uh, so how do you guys think you played tonight? Not bad for the circumstances, you know, like we got here kind of late and everything. Had a few beers, but it was overall, I think it was good, no? Like the reaction from the crowd was kind of amazing, you know, I didn't expect that. So it was pretty cool. I had fun. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I am enthusiastic about how we play today. Even though, like I said, we got there late, but we pulled it off and the crowd went wild for us. Yep. Just want to say apologize to Danny Dismo for coming late. <laughs> okay, so um, let's let's go back and um, tell us a little bit about your guys. Like, how did you guys form? What made you guys want to form? Like, what influenced you to form as a band? Basically, uh, when we first started listening to metal, uh, I got so excited that I wanted to be in my own band. I imagined myself playing in my own band, so picked up the instrument, and things picked off from there. Formed Sadism. I actually started listening to metal since I was like in elementary school, <laughs> like fifth grade and shit, and then moved up from different genre to genre. And ended up liking black metal. Like I just fell in love with black metal. It's so the sound of it is so aggressive and angry. Just, just, just like it so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have anything? Well, I, I guess I've been into music all my life. You know, like I guess when I was younger, it was mostly like punk rock and everything. But as the years went by, I got kind of bored with the drumming style, and metal kind of came naturally. You know, always a big fan of death metal, black metal. So I started just playing drums. You know, started getting better with the metal. When did you start playing drums? I want to say I was like I was young, maybe like in eighth grade, seventh grade. Got my I got my drum set for my it was a Christmas gift or something. So I just started playing from there. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Like I was like, whoa, like fuck. I sounded like shit at the beginning, but over the years it got better. Awesome. So I mean, um, I noticed that some of you guys joined a little later in the band, and then some of, one of you guys is like the original member. Am I correct? Um, so tell us a little bit about that. It's you know on and off. You know, tell me about like when you joined. You know, just the little difficulties. Elaborate on that. I guess uh, I could say I am the original member since the beginning, and it's been a hard struggle. You know finding new members and whatnot, <laughs> but uh, like everything else, I finally found the right drummer, Luis, Thanks. which came in, I think, two years now? Yeah, about two years like already. Two years, and Angelo as guitarist, yep. I think about the same time, right? Three years. Three years, and finally picking up way better than how we had before, you know, so I'm really excited about that. Awesome. So you feel like you finally found the, the right member, right, right member? Trio. Right here, yes. We have the trio. Awesome. Uh, so, I mean, um, earlier we were talking about it a little bit, but, um, you know, when you look up, you see that you guys only made like a demo in 2011. Um, so you guys are making uh, or already have new music right now, right? Yes, now that was a, a big struggle since, uh, well, basically, I we didn't want to pay for somebody to record our music, so I took the initiative to learn how to uh, record ourselves. So that was the main struggle was to actually come out okay, I guess, in my ears. So until this day, finally, we were able to pull out our EP and super excited how it came out, and hopefully everybody else enjoys it. Yeah, it took a while. It took a we actually did a few tracks over it. It took us about probably two years to put all those new songs together <laughs> because we were just procrastinating a lot and we just and um opposed to the to the equipments. Every time we got a new equipment we started all over because it sounded better each time. So then we finally found the right equipment and it just found it sounds great to me. It sounds amazing. Uh, losing members throughout the years what made it more difficult you know so that pushed us back a tremendous amount of time 
Yeah, definitely, I bet. Um, and so, like, tonight's uh, show, you guys were playing um, some of your new songs, right? Yes. This uh, What we played tonight was six of our new songs that are, it's on our EP and two old songs that we had played tonight. Awesome. Okay. That's badass. Um, and, like, how does the, the writing process with you guys work? How does it start? Basically, it's a collaboration with three of us. I make a riff or a couple of riffs. Angelo comes in, puts his thoughts in it, and then once we have the couple of riffs down together, uh, Luis comes in with drums. I just so sit back in, drink some beer, and listen to the riffs, you know. And then yeah. once I trio. yeah, you know, I'll just jump in whenever I have enough riffs to go in. So I was like, all right. Teamwork. It's a band. It's great. It's great how we we could all work together and not not have any issues at all pressure or anything like that it's mostly like it's really relaxing in a way you know it's just it's like kicking back and drinking a beer writing music kind of goes by quick so it's pretty cool <laughs> Anybody in the underground scene influence you? Like, what influence you? Like, you know, when you go to a show and you hear a band sound really good, and you're like, "Damn, I want to sound like that." Or you know, like that gives me ideas. You learn off of everybody else. Do you get any influences like that, or what is your influence? Yeah, that's a tricky one because the Alley scene is pretty strong. You know, you got a lot of good thrash bands, a lot, a lot of good death metal bands, heavy metal bands. You know, it's like it's really hard to pick out a few. You know, you don't want to leave anyone out. You know, because yeah. LA is a really good place for a metal scene, you know, it's like everyone's working hard, trying to push their music out there. It's kind of cool, you know, a lot of good bands out there, but I guess if one of the main ones would be like... Miklante Kutli, you know, Th those guys are pretty badass. Any influence? Actually, I, I'm just open to all genres. I'm influenced by everything from, from start, and it, I can't say end because it hasn't ended, so from start to still past i mean uh present yeah <laughs> what about your influence well i have a lot of influences but it's all old school it's mainly emperor over and old man's child that's what made me who i am awesome okay so let's let's talk about your new merch um today at the show you um were promoting your new merch and as you can see we're looking at the shirt right now um, you want to talk about that a little bit and uh, tell everybody how much it is and maybe the merch that's going to come to be after? Well, right now we just barely came out with this shirt, which is uh, $12. And thanks to an awesome designer, Ray Goroth, which uh, did a great job on our art. And we'll have future art from him soon. I think, it, I think that art design looks amazing. I think it looks great. Yeah, I think it's did a really good job. And they also have uh, demos out if anybody ever wants to ask them for one. Um, uh, what's the best thing about your band? Like, the best thing about being in your band? If you had to compare it to any other band, saying, oh, what's the best thing about being in a band? What, what would you guys say is the best thing about being in your band? Just being us. Being us and playing our music having is the best. Having our own style, not having to copy anybody else getting drunk i guess i don't know you know <laughs> <laughs> i got an alcohol yeah, problem man. Nah. <laughs> that's you guys awesome um okay so um earlier we were talking about this what's the best thing to do in l.a oh, there's a lot of things i don't know we i'm i don't know me the main thing what's really good sometimes is going to the beach and joining the drum circle 
Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll spend my time at home playing guitar, learning more music, or go, if I want to go out, I've been skating for like nine years, so pretty good at that. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so, uh, why should people come come out and watch you guys? Because we're fucking awesome, <laughs> and release your fucking anger when you listen to our music. So you'll be uh, stress free once you're done. Uh, I guess people have told us we have a different style of music, and we're not. We don't. We every song we play is not. It doesn't sound similar to the one we the last one we just played. It just it's it sounds '90s, and that's what people like. And that's what we'll keep doing. Mm, fuck, they should show up just to fucking get drunk, I guess. You know, <laughs> have fun with us or something. You know, uh, support even, all the band. Even a note, we're all born in the '90s, so oh, yeah. that's a trio too. I will make note that they're definitely a band to watch. Um, you know, as the first time seeing them. I definitely was like, wow, um, they're badass. So um, come and support, you know, buy a shirt. Um, it's always good to help your fellow underground scene metalheads. Um, they're definitely a band to come and see, and they're way shocking. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. <laughs>